Welcome to the video tutorial of I Name It. My name is Barbara Fernandez and my goal today is to guide you to know how I Name It can support individuals with word finding difficulties. Let's start by tapping on Start Practice. If this is the first time you're using I Name It, just tap New to add an avatar or a photograph. You can select an avatar and then you can enter their name and tap done. It's that easy. Then to start an activity, you can select the individual that you want to practice. And then you are directed to the screen where you have five locations in the home, the bathroom, bedroom, a garage, a kitchen, and a living room. Let's start with my favorite part, which bathroom. is the bathroom. You will see here that this is a very realistic digital image created to represent a bathroom. At the bottom on this tray that you can close and open back up, you will see the items that we are going to work on naming. The goal of naming is to try to get the individual to correctly name the item. Just as in real life, most people aren't naming things in isolation with a white background. We are always naming in context, and that's why having this background present really supports the reality of production of naming in context. But what we do here, once we tap on the mirror, that image was is the only one that remained in color and everything else went black and white. So we are gonna get the individual to try to name. What is that? If they say mirror without any prompts or cues, we tap on that green button. And as you can see at the on, on the tray at the bottom, that mirror received the check mark. Now we go to the second item, which is the bathtub. If the individual has difficulty naming bathtub, we are going to tap on the blue button to be redirected and now that image is amplified, is enlarged, and they can try to get to, they can try to produce the word bathtub. Then at the bottom you see we have five queuing levels. The first one is we display the first syllable to see if the individual is able to name. Let's say if with just this cue, he got it, we mark got it. And we go to the next. We put it in isolation, couldn't name. We go back to the cue. We try the first and a the second cue, fixture. which is a, def a definition, a bathroom fixture. If he got it on the second, we put got it. Now we go to the third item. He needs more cues. We saw that the first one doesn't work. The An second one doesn't clock. work. Dry we move on to the third, with a which is sentence completion. We can towel. go to a phonetic towel. cue. And if they got it, we click on it and we keep going on practicing their naming skills. You can always sure. already start with a phonetic cue. Shower. And finally, if they couldn't get it, you show the answer, shower. And you get them to name as they're looking at the written and also in, in as a repetition after the iPad's production of that item. Got it. I want to show you the other items, the other locations. Bedroom. We have the bedroom. And you can see the tray here includes a clock, a phone, a uh, phone, a... Um, dresser then we can go back into a garage we have the trash can a car a lawnmower we go kitchen. into the kitchen microwave oven toaster and last living we room. have the living room we have couch a fireplace a computer a television Click on the couch, we isolate it, and we go through the cues. A large piece of furniture people sit on. Have a seat on the... So. Got it. 
Now let's see what the app is doing on the back end. If we click on results, we can see all the different dates that the that the person has practiced. So if you are practicing the bathroom and you can see it was 20% accurate, the living room was zero, bathroom 80 and living room 100. You can also see that the accuracy without any cues is still at a 16%. This person she needs more practice. The overall accuracy when you add cues, 83%. The app also tracks which cues were more was that person most successful with. Here in this case, we had phonemic cue, visual cue, and you start seeing a pattern of which cues that person is more successful with. I name it includes three options of language, Spanish, English, and Portuguese. You can download a name it on the App Store and it's compatible with all iPads.